sorry about that guys we're about to do dinner so it is almost four o'clock now but this isn't going to take that long but we're all out at the pool so i'm gonna make it as you can tell we're all out at the pool but i'm gonna make it now and then we'll go eat and then <clears throat> go back in the pool to bed so i have two pounds of ground beef give me just a second honey i have two pounds of ground beef here um, that is in water because I forgot to take them out. So, I got two pounds of ground beef there. By the way, we're making Frito burritos, if I didn't say that. Rice, Mexican rice, I have day-old Mexican rice. Sour cream. Well, really, it the basics is rice, Frito, ground beef, and beans and cheese but we're gonna add sour cream and salsa I don't know if we're gonna dip them in it or not and then on mine and I know a few others we're gonna use this on the border okay so just to use it up it's been in my pantry for a little over a month now and I just want to get it used up and then I also have this big huge can of beans um, so we're gonna do these together this one's spicy this one's regular um, Put some in the burritos and then have some on the side. And I have these carb counter um, tortillas. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to ground up my ground beef with taco seasoning. I have two pounds. I'm going to use the entire packet. If I only had a pound, I would only use half. Um, so there's that. Heat up my beans and then I will show you guys what to do after that.
All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. You guys saw it in fast mode, but we're gonna do it right now, slow-mo. Beans. I like to spread them all the way around. You guys do you, you guys do whatever you guys want. So just like that. And then cheese. Spicy cheese. Not a lot. Taco sauce or salsa, whatever you guys want. Meat. Let me flip these guys. Sour cream. Any way you guys want to do this, it's totally fine. You could add avocado to this. And then the burrito. Roll them up. Stick them on the pan so that way they look like the grillers from Taco Bell. Super simple. Put this guy. Let these go for a second longer. And then Dad's and Chris's are done. Chris doesn't do the cheese and the sour cream. He just does meat, beans, Fritos. So that's what's going to happen. All right, I'm gonna let these go for just a minute longer, serve them up, make my mom's and mine, which are these, wrap them up, put them over there, and call it a day. This is what's for dinner, and then beans on the side. So, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys tomorrow in another what's for dinner. All right, you guys, I'm so thankful for freezer meals because otherwise I would have not have gotten through this week of first week of school without them so teriyaki chicken in the crock pot and it is falling off the bone let me get you a fork let me show you with the fork okay look at this like i think my husband took out all of the bones already right yeah yeah so there's veggies in here and teriyaki chicken. So I'm going to, I don't even know what to do. So in here is like stir fry veggies, teriyaki sauce and chicken, uh, but it's all like that. So we're gonna serve that over rice, which my husband is making right now and we're gonna then make pot stickers to go on the side because honestly, this school thing, let me get y'all propped up here. This school thing has been one of the worst things ever. Like, I feel like teachers should get paid $1,000 a day to do this because I'm doing it with one kid and it's driving me crazy. I can only imagine them doing it with, That's like there's question. eight people in his class. Yeah, she's sure, supposed to rinse your rice. Everybody does. Well, I married an Asian panda. You rinse your rice. Okay, so, yeah, I have, it's been rough, it's been hard. It's been one of the most hardest things I've had to do is to virtually, basically homeschool my own child. 
I don't understand how, I mean, I get it. I get how they do it. I don't get how they do it. I understand why they do it. I physically can't do it. <laughs> so, props to all of you that homeschool your kids. Props to all of the teachers out there. And, my gosh, it's been crazy. So, that is what's going on in the crockpot. Ignore that crockpot symbol. That's disgusting. <laughs> See the New York Giants thing? Ignore that. It's gross. I'm getting glared at. That is not even going to focus. So, that is what's for dinner. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. But honestly, you guys, I am so beat. I'm in here, in that room with him from sunup to sundown, pretty much. Um, from 8 in the morning till, well... 7.45 till 2.30, almost 3 o'clock, depending on how long it takes for him to get his stuff done. And it's just... <sighs> um, thank you for only letting me put up two videos last week. I'm only going to be able to put up two videos this week. Um, we're still dealing with a lot of family stuff so hello everybody and welcome back to another what's for dinner so tonight for dinner we're doing pesto ranch chicken in here is fresh homemade pesto um that i made in my garden that i made with the basil from my garden and holy crap those are bushes at this point um i did not put any uh nuts in here because of my mom so in here is basil pesto, no nuts. So it's just Parmesan cheese, basil, and olive oil, chicken, and a ranch packet. And it smells so good, I can smell it through the back. So I'm about to throw this in the crock pot on high because it's already 10 o'clock. What? You want ice cream? After that, will you rainbow right for mom? After that, will you rainbow right? No, hold on. So that's what I'm gonna do is throw this in to the crock pot. We're gonna have mashed potatoes and a veggie. Don't know exactly what veggie yet. So into the crock pot it goes. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So tonight for dinner we did mashed potatoes. I showed you guys earlier about the pesto chicken, homemade pesto. One packet of ranch and chicken. And then I just have a can of cream corn. And this is what my plate looks like. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Here. Oh, that's right. We don't get amazing Chinese food often. So, shrimp chow fun. And then my mother in law got pork fried rice. Mongolian beef and Chris got Combo lo mein and we're about to eat Tonight for dinner is smoked pizza Okay, so like I was telling you guys earlier dad smoked pizzas on the smoker and then this is cheesy bread, but this is just an all-purpose seasoning and then this is Cajun and all-purpose so that's what's for dinner tonight, you guys. This is Hubby's plate. I already ate. And I'll see y'all next week. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Share my channel. Don't forget, be smart, be strong, be safe. See you guys next week. Bye, guys.